friends, my name is Terry Mattis and I crochet. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Um, today I want to show you something I made last night. It's called a book sleeve. Um, my daughter found them on the internet. Um, they were being sold by somebody and she wanted to buy one from me. So I said, okay. I think I can make one of those. So here it is. There's a book inside. In case you're wondering, it's There There by Tommy Orange. And I made the sleeve to fit this book, but it also could fit like paperbacks or or other small hardcover books. I did it by making a rectangle at the bottom. I started with a chain of 28 here and then went around and of course in increased at the corners. And um, I made a rectangle that Seta from Seta's place taught me how to do. And then I just kept going up. I made it, I make these all the time and I made it the same as these, except bigger. Um, at the top, I had made it a little bit longer and put a crab stitch around it, which I got the crab stitch tutorial from Zelda at NR, Zelda NRJ3 um, here on YouTube. Hi Z. So she's the one that taught me how to do the crab stitch, but I ripped it out and ripped back the stitches a little bit because I didn't like it. It was, it was like, see how wobbly it is. It just made it more like wonky and it, it didn't look right. So I pulled back a ways and I didn't put the crab stitch on it after all. And um, the yarn I used, which was terrible frogging, oh my god, I had to use scissors and most of this yarn that I pulled out I couldn't even reuse. But it was Yarn Bee Wild Streak in the color Teal Purple 01 and it's 100% acrylic, size 4, and machine washable, but do not do anything else with it. Oh, I guess you can dry it. I don't know. I never know what those symbols really mean. <laughs> so, anyway, it's a beautiful colorway. And I got it on clearance. Actually, my daughter, my daughter went to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and she was at Hobby Lobby, and we did like FaceTiming, and um, she she picked out some yarns and and I got it for a dollar twenty four. Anyway, so that is my. Oh, I used a size five millimeter hook with it. That is my book sleeve and it looks gorgeous. That yarn came out beautiful. If you don't have to frog it, that yarn is amazing. And like I said, it's 100% acrylic. Okay. So the other thing I've been working on um, the past couple of days is my mosaic blanket. And I'm, I'm just going to show you the part that I've done since you saw it last. I was here on the teal, and I've gone all the way up. I'm almost done, you guys. I'm on the last page of the pattern. So it's about 40 more rows, maybe. 30-some 30, 30 more rows, and then I'll be done. So maybe about this much more. I'm excited. 
I already on Amazon in my cart, I have waiting for me a carpet pad to go underneath it to so that it doesn't slide around and get hooked and everything. And um, so I have that carpet pad waiting. I'm going to do something about the fringe. I think I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to twist it and cut it like three inches maybe away from the, the rug and leave fringe on it. And I don't know, pretty soon it will be um, the carpet in my living room because right now I just have tile floors. I don't have anything um, on the floor. And it'll be nice to have a rug, this beautiful rug for the, um, the winter. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take me. It's taken me, let me put this over there. Okay. It's taken me a year, over a year to make what I've made so far. And of course there were months and months that I didn't work on it at all. But now that it's getting cold, I've been using it as a blanket to cover myself and I crochet on the top and that's been really working out for me. It's keeping me motivated. It's coming out so beautiful and um, I'm excited about it. I'm using acrylic yarns all from a stash um, over a year ago. I got a a big, huge bag of le of used secondhand. We'll call it secondhand yarn from a lady here in town. She had put on Facebook that she was selling it, and my daughter was like, "Look, mom!" And so I bought it, and it's just like old Red Heart, some old Premier, um, just really vintage yarns, and so the acrylic is kind of rough a lot of it and a lot of it didn't have labels something like this that's the color i'm using right now anyway um that's what i'm using to make the rug and it's i love it so much and so i was doing a little bit of math because i it takes me 30 minutes to do one row and according to this chart there's 223 rows and so I was doing math and I thought my time going into it if I paid myself um, $12 an hour would be like $1,300 or something like that I I figured it out but I don't remember the hourly wage I gave myself or anything but I just thought I I could never make it again because I, I don't think I would spend a lot of money on yarn that I was going to use as a rug. Um, but then again, if it's a $1,300 rug, maybe it's worth it to buy a yarn like that, you know? I don't know. But it's been a sometimes frustrating project, but mostly a labor of love, you know, and I, and now towards the end of it, let me see, this is the, I'll show you real fast, <laughs> the chart that I'm using for the queen cow, 87, 7, 20, 30, 35 rows left. Woohoo! I'm excited. I think I can finish it within the next few days. Not, not the fringe and not the, you know, the carpet pad and cutting, trimming the carpet pad and all the stuff that I still need to do in order to make it a rug for my home. Um, but just the... The mosaic blanket itself, I think I can finish by next week. So, 
We'll see. Wish me luck. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to a, the baby shower today. Where I'm going to give them the little hat, hat, the hat and booty set that I made from last video, and um, hopefully have a good time with my my aunts and my cousin. It's going to be great seeing them. They're from Albuquerque and Santa Fe. So thank you so much for coming by to visit. I'm kind of rambling, but not really having much to say. <laughs> so I know it's time to end the video. I love you guys so much. I thank you for commenting under my videos. It's really nice getting to know each other. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.